Hello, we're in England doing more online purchases. This book came from Oxfam. Then it cost £15. It says catalogue of 17th century portraits in the National Gallery. So this is £15, including post, because I had bought some other things, other books, and I paid post once. And they don't recharge the post unless you're buying a heavy book. So we're going to open this little, little parcel and see what's inside. I've no idea what it will be like. So we have a rather nice old book and they put some rubber bands on it to hold it together. The dust jacket is knackered, doesn't matter. Cambridge University Press. So this appears to be dated 1963 and it cost five pounds originally. Catalogue of 17th century portraits in the National Portrait Gallery 1625 to 1714. So that takes it up from Charles the first or second up to Queen Anne roughly speaking. And They have a lovely frontispiece showing the Earl of Arundel. I can't remember what he was famous for. I think he was a Catholic. And I think he had problems being a Catholic from memory. But I might be wrong. So it's a beautiful book, lovely at large print. And this book talks about portraiture and I'm surprised to see a lack of pictures in it. Okay, so I have no pictures at all. So I would say that this, this book is, is, a, is a dud. How interesting. Okay, well, never mind. Nevertheless, I can see the word Sir Peter Lely in there. I can see lots of interesting artists with and there are some anecdotes in here which probably won't be available in the inter, on the internet probably won't be available in modern um publications so i think it's off it is of use slightly i'm, I'm a bit disappointed it hasn't got any uh pictures in it but never mind so this book um i will keep and look at another time We'll do another book while we're here. This is not associated at all. This book came from Abe, A-B-E, A-B-E. And it cost £4.97, including post. So there are a number of these on the market, but I bought, I bought it uh, because it was the cheapest I could find. And it was cheap because it has library marks on it. So it belonged to, to a library. It belongs to Queen Margaret College and it's been legitimately withdrawn from the, from the library. And it's a book about Le, Corbus Le Corbusier, who was a French designer of architecture and stuff like that. So um, this is 1972. It's a, it is a hardback, it's quite small. And I'll, I wonder if I will find some, some pictures in here and photographs. There's lots of text, academic text, text. And I can see there will be some photographs in here. So that's Pavilion of the New Spirit, 1925, just to start you off. So that was a cabin style kiosk at the Exhibition of Decorative Art in Paris. So you can see here, it's got some of this Japanese effect screen with a tree inside the building growing through the roof. So, you know, it's of interest. And then we've got 1927, a villa, a private house in France. These are also hat homes. That is a home built with someone in France. We have got office blocks, so university buildings in, I think it said Paris, yes, in Paris, 1930. And flipping through, 
We have the United Nations building. I didn't know who built that. And then much work in Marseille, for which he's very well known, rightly or wrongly. Harvard University building, Harvard University lecture hall. So this this guy, Le Corbusier, was obviously prolific. A chapel. And more interesting architecture, including a chapel. I think most of us have seen that picture for it. Ronchamp place in France. This is a monastery he has built La Tourette. It says the two upper floors are friars cells. So in France they have recently been building monasteries and that's the aerial shot of the monastery so it's quite a impressive setup. So this this Corpusier Corbusier book is pleasing. This is a 1950 home in Argentina. The Ministry of Education in Rio de Janeiro. And a palace of assembly in India. So he's really quite impressive in his output. We have got a uh, plan of the Indian setup. Well, it's rather like the Edwin Lechin's setup. You, you've got the capital, commercial centre, hotels, restaurants, museum, university market, all to go with it. So it's a compound. So that's a book from Cabuzier. Thank you.